With the release of Web Intelligence 4.0 Feature Pack 3, several improvements and new features have been introduced to expand and enhance your user experience. In this tutorial, you will review the new features in this release of Web Intelligence. The application performance has been improved in a number of ways. There is a reduced delay after you make each modification in a report, a reduction of server CPU load, and better handling of large documents. By default, Web Intelligence Rich Client now continues to run in the background after the last document is closed, to reduce the launch time when opening a document. You can now manage Web Intelligence report styles using cascading style sheets, enabling you to import, modify, and export styles for use by other users. Note that style sheet functionality is not available using the DHTML viewer. Refer to the Modifying the Default Style Sheet tutorial for details. Sorting is now easier to apply and manage in tables and charts. You can directly apply a sort on a dimension or a measure, and access sorts without using the Manage Sorts dialog box. The Manage Sorts dialog box is now required only for complex sorting. Refer to the Apply Simple and Complex Sorting tutorial for details. There are a number of improvements focused on working with SAP BW and hierarchies. You can now merge on attributes to synchronize on key attributes when using BEX data sources, to ensure proper data synchronization without ambiguous names or language differences on names. The Format Table dialog box now enables you to hide a table row or column for which the measure value is equal to zero or the sum of measure values is equal to zero. These options correspond to zero suppression features in the BEX Query Designer. Support for hierarchies has been enhanced in a number of ways. The Member Selector in the Query Panel now enables you to select members based on levels or to prompt for member selection. Refer to the Perform Level or Prompt Based Member Selection on Hierarchical Data tutorial for details. You can now define input controls on hierarchical objects enabling enhanced interaction with hierarchical data. Refer to the Define Input Controls on Hierarchical Objects tutorial for details. You can now create charts with hierarchical dimensions, and drill up, drill down, expand, collapse, and show or hide parents on charts based on UNX or BEX data sources. Refer to the Create Charts with Hierarchical Dimensions tutorial for details. Scaling factors can now be exposed as key figure attributes in BEX queries. Refer to the work with scaled values in BEX queries tutorial for details. Several improvements have been made in charting. You can now edit the font type, format, size, and color, as well as the zone background, directly by selecting the chart area and using the functions on the format tab. Chart color management has been improved with color synchronization across sections. You can directly select the color to apply to a legend item. Color is also maintained during turn into operations between charts with equivalent data assignment. Refer to the Format Charts tutorial for details. A new waterfall chart is introduced, which can be used to highlight a running sum across a dimension. The waterfall can be based on hierarchical or non-hierarchical dimensions. The DHTML viewer now features a query panel, allowing you to create documents and add or edit queries. Note that the DHTML query panel currently supports UNV or UNX universe data sources only. The process of changing the data source between an OLAP SAP BW universe and a BEX query has been improved, to enable free mapping between the source universe and target BEX objects. Note that filters from the source can only map to filters in the target. At the end of the change data source workflow, you must edit the query in the query panel rather than refreshing the document. You have successfully reviewed the new features in Web Intelligence 4.0 Feature Pack 3. This is the end of the tutorial.